Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com. So up until now, I have been teaching you guys about coding, command lines, Python, object-oriented stuff in Python, and everything has been related to coding besides some logs and life advice. Of course, I love to give life advice. But today, I wanted to share something different with you guys. What I thought would be really important for you guys is some productivity apps. So that's what we're going to talk about. In today's segment, we are going to hone in on one particular productivity app. And I think that this is by far the best productivity app of, I don't know, 2017 and 2016 and probably the previous years as well. However, one disclaimer, this is for Mac. But if you see how the app works, maybe you can get something very similar in Windows as well. So we're going to talk about this and see how this app works. So this app that I want to talk about today is called Alfred. Few things that are really awesome about Alfred that I think are already kind of built into Windows is the search functionality. Because while I like Spotlight of Macs, the annoying thing is that sometimes it comes in the way when I'm doing math. Or it's a little bit slow when it comes to finding things and it's not as intelligent. But with Alfred, it finds things very fast. So, for example, if I want to find PyCharm, P, uh, oh, whoops, P, Y, and then it just comes up. Like it just comes up pretty much instantly, like as soon as I hit P. And then it starts to rank the apps based on how you use them. So, the more you use an app, the quickly uh, the quicker it would find it. So, if you use QuickTime Player all the time, the next time you put Q, it wouldn't put the Qu Quack app in front of you, it would put the QuickTime app in front of you. So same thing with my software that I use for coding is called PyCharm. Now, while this is great, a few other things that are really important about this is because it doesn't look for all the things at the same time, like your folders and your files, instead, it'll just by default look for apps. That's its secret sauce. That's what makes it so fast. Now, if you want to look for a file or a folder, just simply um, type in F before and then after that, type in what you're looking for. So now you can search up contacts or you could search up folders like documents or downloads. And it does a very fast job of finding those as well. Plus, it can do a ton more. But the cool feature about this is the my favorite feature about this is something called the clipboard. Now. When you copy things around the internet, you want to be able to paste them at some point. But what happens when you copy two things? Can you go back and paste that first thing that you had initially copied? Not really. So what do you have to do? You have to go back, get that thing, and then paste it. Now, maybe you have a clipboard manager. Great. However, what if you need to go back, and I mean really back in time, to pull out something? So let me give you a very quick example. My website, right, it's called cleverprogrammer.com. And if you see my theme and you see that orange color at the top, that's a specific color. That's the branded color of the website. So I need to use this color when I'm making new kind of graphics or new kind of, um, I don't know, web page templates or whatever. So I need to keep the brand consistent. There is something called a hex code for each color. It's essentially a six-digit code that uniquely identifies any particular color. Well, I'm not going to waste my time trying to memorize that. So instead, I use my clipboard to kind of save that information for me, and then later I can retrieve it at any point. Let me give you an example. So I pop open my clipboard, and it has all my previous things right in here. So you can see, for example, it has my links and you can see that if it's a Chrome link, it has a Chrome icon right there. And if it's a Zoom link, it has a Zoom icon right there. It's searchable. You can navigate through it. But more importantly, it has its own search functionality up at the top. So now if I type in, let, let's say I'm looking for my color code, right? Let me open up my, uh, let's see, color picker app. And maybe I'll go color picker. And then in here, if I want to put that code and get that orange, I'll open up my clipboard and I will simply do, oops, actually, let's type it into the search bar, hashtag, and you can see that it came up, okay? And if I type in F and then it comes up again. So there it is. That's my color. Let's go to prove that that's the color that we were looking for. And I will simply go back to my color picker extension on my Chrome. 
and if I put that color in minus the hashtag symbol at the end, you can, you can see that it gives me that same exact orange, nothing different. So that's just one example of it. Another example of it, uh, another reason why I use it a lot is for uh, pasting things that I need to use repeatedly. So it could be an email template, but for me, one thing that I need to paste pretty like kind of like all the time is this. So let me give you an example. Let's go to stackedit.io. This is like my handy text editor that I use from time to time because I think Word document kind of looks ugly and I don't like to, even in Mac's Word documents, I don't like to write in there. I, I use my own kind of things. So if I go in here um, and I kind of, let's let's just delete all this for now, okay? If I do this equal, equal, equal thing, my all my safe stuff for my YouTube comes. And so then I just put that into my YouTube channel's description right away. So if you actually look at my description, that's how I do it. Instead of having to save it somewhere particular or then have to go look it up later, I don't have to do that. My clipboard manager does that. And the shortcut to that is uh, command shift V and I think you can get something similar like that on Windows. But what you're looking for, what you need to search up if you're on Windows is something called a clipboard manager. But if you are on a Mac, you should have Alfred. It's faster than Spotlight, it's better. And again, it allows you to do math without kind of opening it up all the way and blocking your view. So that is another very cool reason for it. And then there are some crazy things you can do. You can create workflows, you can create snippets that automatically expand. So other few benefits I love about this Alfred app that just are so amazing. So let's say that you go to your video, right? And you're trying to respond to a hate comment. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're just trying to respond to somebody's comment, right? And you just click like, let's say reply. So many times you're trying to write something and then what happens like you try to reply or something breaks and you refresh and then everything is lost so you wrote this whole like reply to this person but everything is lost because of some stupid refresh or whatever so one thing i like to do which is practically like essentially how i'm i save things is i just go command a command c command a command c like as i'm writing things i'll just do command a command c and then just keep writing Okay, so what's the point of that? Well, check it out. It's in my clipboard forever. And that way I never lose anything. So the so this ends up being very handy because trust me, so many times you'll be in a forum or you'll be somewhere and you'll write stuff, like even email sometimes, and you'll just lose them. But this is essentially a way of just copying things that you won't lose. Like for example, this person says, not to be nitpicky, but English is relatively hard to learn. Well, that's a good point. Uh, maybe let me just copy that and maybe let me just uh, copy something else. And so later when I go somewhere outside of here, I have everything. So that's essentially my way of just going crazy and just saving whatever I need. And then later on, whenever I need to use it, I'll have it forever. And more importantly, it's searchable. So I can be like, oh, I can't find it. But what if it was like not to be nitpicky, right? So it seriously just improves your workflow and it's so useful for coding because uh, you have those beautiful one-liners or you have that be beautiful piece of code that's working and that's doing everything, but you want to now change a few things about it and add new things, but you're not sure if it's going to break everything that was what you had done in the past. So if you keep copying as you go and if you even change something, now you can just always have whatever data that you need. So those are a few key things I constantly use it for in my day-to-day -day stuff. That is probably the most productive app slash software. And I wanted to tell you guys about it so then you can use it and increase your speed. And especially if you're coding, all the time you have to copy like two or three different things you don't want to lose it you want to keep track of it so then you can just go to the next place and copy paste them and have a history of what you've copied pasted this app alfred goes back three months of time okay so if i showed you how i set it up so if you get this app you can set it up the same way okay so if you open up alfred i've saved my command space thing to open up my alfred menu 
uh, for searching. And in the features, you can see it has a ton of features, right? Like um, one password, system, terminal, shell. The common one I use are, is calculator and probably clipboard. I don't even use contacts that much. But in here, what I've saved the hotkey to, instead of doing command V to paste, I just did command shift V. And that's one more modifier key, but then it opens up my entire clipboard. And then I just go through what I need and I go ahead and paste it. I set it to save three months things and then it just saves them. <laughs> so you can be doing things for a very long time and then have this like save things for you from the past. And it just not having this is a huge pain in the ass. I cannot imagine going back to that time when I didn't have this. So honestly, uh, the reason why I was inspired to make this video was because I got to use my brother's MacBook Pro and while it was a lot better than mine, I felt just so restricted. I couldn't get anything done, at least at the speed that I am used to getting things done and simply by not having this clipboard and Alfred. So that's it for this video. Hopefully this will help you find a good clipboard manager, improve your productivity, improve your workflow, and therefore your thought process and your coding skills and all of that stuff. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.